You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India has a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained today, the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the hilly town of Shimla, which at present is covered under a blanket of snow. Hordes of tourists are flocking the hill station to enjoy the icy landscape and involve themselves in the adventure activities. Take a look. Heavy snowfall has come up as boon for the sagging tourism industry of Shimla. It is luring tourists to flock the hill town to take a white winter trip. Kufri, which is situated 20 kilometers from Shimla, is receiving the maximum tourist footfall. From horse riding to skiing, this picturesque town offers countless activities to do. There are over 1,000 horse owners in Kufri for whom tourism is the major source of employment. Many people visiting Kufri love to explore the place while sitting on a horseback. Though the ride may be a little scary if you're passing through a rough terrain, but it's truly once-in-a-lifetime experience. Horse owners are happy to receive good number of tourists this year. Horses here are working here in 15-16 horses, sir, and here are thousands of people who are connected to this horse. In the coming days, sir, we can do this for the coming days. The weather is good, the business will be good, maybe the tourists will be good, the work 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 will be good. I came to Kufri the first time, I came to see the barf. It was very good. We had a lot of time in two years of lockdown. So, the first time we came to Kufri, it was very good. The weather was very good. सब यहाँ पर प्रिकॉशंस पूरी हैं, मास्क वास पहन रखा है हम सब ने। Skiing is another popular activity that you can't miss if you are visiting Kufri in winters. Owing to its beautiful slopes, the high altitude and snowy peaks that grace the landscape, Kufri is also known as the skiing capital of Shimla. Skiing enthusiasts as well as beginners love to indulge in this activity to experience an adrenaline rush. Tourists can also be seen enjoying tobogganing where you slide down snow-covered slopes on a sledge or a snow tube. The location was really beautiful and everyone should see it once in a while, uh, once in their lifetime. And uh, instead of going to other countries like Switzerland, London, like uh, we'll be going some other, uh, searching for everything. So instead of going searching for, this is the best place you need to see the highlights of Himalayans and Himachal Pradesh, Shimla is the best tourism spot, uh, one of the best tourism spots. Uh, who I mean, where everyone should see in their lifetime. बहुत मजा आ रहा है, बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छा लग रहा है। इतना कोरोना में हम दो-तीन साल से घर के अंदर एकदम कैद थे, कैद थे। तो बाहर निकले हैं, मतलब तीसरी लहर भी है। हम पर उसका पूरा ध्यान रख रहे हैं, और बहुत ज़्यादा मजा आ रहा है। मतलब कि यहाँ मैं तो ये बोलूँगी the swimming pool that turns into an ice skating rink in winters is another major draw for tourists visiting Kufri. With the help of trainers who are present near the ice rink, they perform this activity and gather a fabulous experience. They have made ice skating here. It's a good experience. The people who have come to the first time in the snow and ice, it's good. हमने भी आइस स्केटिंग किया उसमें बहुत बार हम गिरे भी हैं उठे भी हैं तो बहुत कुछ सीखने मिलता है उससे तो एट द सेम टाइम लेकिन एक्सपीरियंस ओवरऑल बहुत अच्छा रहता है। 
Mashobra, Roru, Narkanda, Chail are other beautiful destinations in Shimla that wear a charming look especially during the snowfall season and provide tourists with a complete magical experience. Moving on, recently the entire nation was soaked in patriotic spirits on the occasion of the 73rd Republic Day of India. The occasion not just brought into light the nationalism in the hearts of citizens, but also highlighted the spirit of unity and brotherhood among them. Have a look. It's been said that patriotism is the lively sense of collective responsibility. It is the patriotic hearts of Indian citizens that the country stands as an undefeatable example of a multicultural diverse society. Recently, when the entire country was soaked in the festivities of the 73rd Republic Day, people of different religious communities were seen celebrating the occasion together regardless of any discrimination. In Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch and Doda districts, Indian Army organized flag hoisting events that brought together people of different religious communities and tied them in a single knot of nationalism. हमारे जो है वो बहुत बड़ी खूबसूरती है हमारे मुल्क की कि आज तिरहत्तर जो है जो में जमहूरिया जो है मनाया जा रहा है और सरहदील जिला पुंछ की अगर मैं बात करूं तो इस वक्त आप देख सकते हैं कि जहां पूरी चोटियां बर्फ से डकी हुई हैं और शदीद सर्दी के बीच इस वक्त हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई और बगैर मजहब मिलत रंगों नस्ल जोशो खरोश के साथ जो है तिहत्तरवा जो है जोम जमहूरिया मना रहे हैं और इस जोम जमहूरिया के मौके पर मैं देशवासियों को और खसूसी तौर पर पुंछ की आवाम को इस भाईचारे के लिए बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद पेश करता हूँ Various events were organized to mark the celebrations. Apart from march past, PT and parades, different cultural events were also held to showcase the glorious culture and tradition of India. Similar scenes were witnessed at Aligarh Muslim University, where students, professors and locals of different religious communities gathered together to hoist the tiranga and present the devotion towards the country. हमारी खूबसूरती जो है आज के दिन हमें याद करना है कि हमारे इस मुल्क की खूबसूरती जो है वो यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी है इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द कास्ट क्रीड रीजन रिलीजन और ये मुल्क को हम किस तरह से अपनी एनर्जीज को सिंक्रोनाइज करके देख रहे सिर्फ अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी में नहीं पूरे हिंदुस्तान में और कहना चाहिए जहाँ पर भी हिंदुस्तानी बाहर मुल्कों में भी हैं सब लोग इरेस्पेक्टिव किसी भी धर्म हो किसी भी मिलत का हो किसी भी लैंग्वेज का हो किसी भी किरा हिंदुस्तानियत जो है वो आज नुमायाँ होती है It is due to examples like these that the world looks at India with awe and wonders how the second most populous country in the world resides with such great unity and diversity. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated a hologram statue of hardliner freedom fighter Subhash Chandra Bose at India Gate War Memorial on his 125th birth anniversary. The statue will instill nationalism and democratic values in the people and inspire the future generation said Modi. Hamare un neta ji ki bhavya pratima aaj digital swaroop mein इंडिया गेट के समीप स्थापित हो रही है जल्द ही इस होलोग्राम प्रतिमा के स्थान पर ग्रेनाइट की विशाल प्रतिमा भी लगेगी ये प्रतिमा आजादी के महानायक को कृतज्ञ राष्ट्र की श्रद्धांजलि है नेताजी सुभाष की ये प्रतिमा हमारी लोकतांत्रिक संस्थाओं को हमारे पीढ़ियों को राष्ट्रीय कर्तव्य का बोध कराएगी बोस हु वॉज बोर्न इन 1897 नाइन्टी सेवन वॉज ए नेशनलिस्ट एंड फाउंडर ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी आई एन ए इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू अ फोर्स ऑफ इंडियन नेशनलिस्ट ही हैड अटेम्प्टेड टू थ्रो अवे द ब्रिटिश रूल फ्रॉम इंडिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ जापान एंड नाजी जर्मनी After escaping a British government's prison sentence for his role in the freedom movement, Bose left India in 1943 
and took help from European and fascist communist leaders in his struggle against the colonial regime. Health workers climbed hills covered with snow and crossed rivers to reach villages for door-to-door COVID-19 vaccination drive in far-flung areas of Jammu and Kashmir territory. मुझे बहुत खुशी है क्योंकि यहाँ पे बहुत हिली एरिया होने के बावजूद हम बोनियार से चल के यहाँ पे आए हैं आप देख सकते हैं इस वक्त भी यहाँ पे बहुत बर्फबारी होने के बावजूद भी हमारा वैक्सीनेशन अच्छा हुआ Indian Army personnel escorted head workers to villages of the territory's Baramulla district and gave vaccine shots to the residents after hiking through a tough and snow-filled terrain. About 70% of India's 939 million adult population has received two primary vaccine doses and a booster campaign for health workers and at the risk population is underway. The Union Territory of Ladakh has received its first open synthetic track and astroturf football stadium as part of the Khelo India program, a Government of India initiative to promote sports culture in India. Sport persons in the territory are filled with joy. जब से synthetic track बना है हमारे लिए बहुत फायदा हुआ है क्योंकि उससे पहले हम रोड पे दौड़ते थे नहीं तो स्पीड के लिए हमें मिट्टी के ग्राउंड पे दौड़ना पड़ता था जहाँ पे हमें डिस्टेंस भी पता नहीं चलता था तो जब से संतरिक ट्रैक बना है लास्ट दो महीने से हम यहाँ पे आ रहे हैं दौड़ने के लिए तो स्पीड वर्कआउट हमें हम यहाँ पे करते हैं और स्ट्रेचिंग वगैरह यहाँ पर बहुत अच्छा हो रहा है तो जब से हम यहाँ पर आए बहुत इम्प्रूवमेंट हो रहा है क्योंकि हमें डिस्टेंस का पता चलता है यहाँ पर सबसे यही सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है कि हमें डिस्टेंस का पता चलता है उसके हिसाब से हम टाइम का फिर स्पीड भी इम्प्रूवमेंट होता है The track has been built with an estimated cost of rupees 10.68 crore and the size of the track and football turf has been constructed on 130 canals in the Spituk belt of the Kul Desert. And now we will take you to Mitnapur city of West Bengal where the Mazar of Barapir Baba has been acting as a center of religious harmony for years. The Mazar of Bada Peer Sahab, located at Manbazar Uparpara area of Midnapur, city in West Bengal, is a dome of peace and tranquility. People cutting across religious line visit the shrine to offer prayers to the holy saint for fulfilment of wishes. Here, one of the things that is happening here is that there is no one here. And here, there is nothing in the world. There is nothing in the world. कास्ट के आदमी आके मानत करता है सबका मानत पूरा भी हो जाता है जो जैसा मांगते मन मन से अपना The 110 year old mazar has been acting as a symbol of religious harmony for generations A yearly program is also organized at this dargah on the occasion of Muharram when devotees from far and wide visit this mazar It is believed that saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty handed from here. Amra choto ekdom choto bolat theke amra dekhe eshechi ekhane amra ekhane je mohorome je onushthan seta amra khub bhalo bhabe upobhog kori sobai mile mise seta ke khub anondo mukhore dhobe kore tuli amra nijera seta amader ekhan theke sikhe eshechi je amader moddhe kono bhedabhed nei je amader somoshya sob amader sobai kar Dargah holds great significance as it welcomes people of all faiths to seek oneness with God and plays a distinctive role in narrowing the boundaries of religion and boosting secularism in the country. To give boost to the production of floriculture crops, enhance their export potential as well as generate employment opportunities, CSIR Floriculture Mission is picking up pace across the country in Jammu and Kashmir too. Many farmers have shifted from food crop farming to commercial floral crops and reaping great returns. Have a look. The cultivation of floral crops is bringing in the fragrance of profit for Jammu and Kashmir farmers. Many of them have successfully embraced this farming and slowly bringing their lands under floriculture. Ranging from marigold to tuber rose, also known as Rajni Gandha. Different varieties of flowers can be seen blossoming on the land of Union Territory. 
This change is being brought under the floriculture mission of CSIR, or Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, which aims to enhance the export potential of floriculture sector, generate employment and increase the income of farmers. Under the mission, the floriculture department also provides crops to farmers on 90% subsidy and arrange training programs to help them increase the productivity of crops. सरकार हमें टूर भी ले जाती है बाहर पूना गया था मैं इन्होंने लिया था मैकेमे वाले फ्लोरी कर्चर वालों ने वहाँ भी हमें इसे बारे में बताया और जगह जगह ले के जाते हैं हमको और कल आज ही हमको मिला है ये सीड मिला है नब्बे सेंट सब्सिडी पे ये मैरी गोल्ड है जेल्लो है रेड है ऑरेंज है ये तीन केस में मैंने ले लिया है और ग्लेडियस मिला है हमें चार हजार जिसको बल्ब होता है चार हजार में ये मिला और जैस्मिन को हजार जैस्मिन का पौधा मिला है तो अब गवर्नमेंट में देती रहती है बैंक में वाले कुछ तो कुछ हमें सिखाते हैं बहुत फूलों वाले बहुत कुछ देते हैं Besides floriculture mission, CSIR has also launched Aroma Mission that aims to popularize aromatic crops and provide end-to-end -end technology and value addition solutions to farmers across the country. In Jammu and Kashmir, Pulwama has become the epicenter of aromatic crops farming, especially lavender, that has transformed the lives of many farmers in the district. In both the missions, CSIR is successfully laying the infusion of latest technologies with the help of its engineering and agriculture oriented institutions to enhance the productivity and quality of crops. While talking about floriculture mission, Dr. Shahid Rasool, a senior scientist at CSIR Triple IM or Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine Jammu, highlighted the verticals of the mission and how they will prove beneficial for both farmers as well as country. Under uh, this mission, we will be working on seven verticals. Mm -hmm. Among those verticals, we have one vertical that is area expansion under different crops based on the specific agroclimatic suitability and market demand that can be local, that can be uh, international market. And at the same time, just me higher net returns hamari ho. So our focus is me jo hai cut flowers pe hai, like mm -hmm. gladiolus, lilium, uh, tulips, uh, uh, tuberose, jasmines, carnations, roses. Taaki jo hamara jo ek, kyunki we know that uh, ab jo consumer hai conscious ho gaya hai, he prefers ki ab jo hai natural chizon ki taraf chala jaye. So that way. ये मिशन जो है इट विल हैव ए मल्टी प्रॉन्ग्ड जो है बेनिफिट्स वन ये फार्मर इकोनॉमी को एलिवेट करेगा अपलिफ्ट करेगा नंबर टू ये हमारी इंडिजिनस प्रोडक्शन जो इन फ्लोरिकल्चरल क्रॉप्स एंड देयर कमोडिटीज़ जो है उसको ऑगमेंट करेगा एंड एज अ रिजल्ट इट विल हैव ए बियरिंग ऑन द नेशनल इकोनॉमी जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज कीन ऑन डबलिंग फार्मर्स इनकम बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड टू मेक दैट हैपन it is pulling out all the stops at last we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus despite the coronavirus pandemic japan maintains order and unity this has been possible not only by the Japanese companies and citizens but also by foreigners who have integrated themselves into the global society. Known as essential foreigners, they are indispensable partners of the natives. Mr. Muhammad Yusuf is a nurse at Kawakita General Hospital in Suginami, Tokyo, who moved to Japan from Jakarta, Indonesia. <laughs> Integrated foreigners who have overcome differences in tradition and lifestyle uphold Japanese society. Japan will continue to accept and nurture these essential foreigners.
Wishes and requests to the Bolivian God of Abundance shifted this year from houses and cars to miniature COVID vaccination cards and negative PCR COVID tests. Ahora con mucha fe y devoción la gente está viniendo. Ante todo no está pidiendo ahora casa, auto, está viniendo a pedir salud. Porque muchas personas han fallecido por el COVID. Entonces están pidiendo no enfermarse, eh, sacar hasta la prueba PCR, hay negativa. Entonces están pidiendo comprando la, la prueba PCR para que no den positivo a COVID y tener salud. During the local Amera Festival or Alceta, where people buy miniatures, Related to their personal wishes of the year, merchants like Jocelyn Quisp witnessed the change in priorities brought on by the pandemic. The colorful Alceta, which means buy me, is an annual tradition with local artisan fairs dealing in miniature that are blessed under the auspices of indigenous god of abundance, Ekoko. More than 20,000 people have died in Bolivia due to the pandemic and the fourth wave of the pandemic driven by the highly contagious Omicron variant has saturated hospitals once again. The part toward decommissioning the Tokyo Electric Power Company holding Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station is a huge challenge. On April 13, 2021, the government of Japan announced its basic policy based on which preparation for discharging the ALPS treated water of FDNPS into the sea will be started. The news received immediate and the widespread international attention, is it really safe, was a common question. The authority of nuclear and radiation risk, Mr. Jean Christophe Grariel, Deputy Director of Institute for Radiological Protection and Nuclear Safety pointed out. about what has been done during these last 10 years about uh, treatment of water, I would say that there has been huge efforts that have been made. The government of Japan, TEPCO and other relevant parties are focused on making successful progress on this issue. It's concrete step on, the path of decommissioning the TEPCO's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. Jazz was back up in the air in Havana as the country's Jazz Plaza Festival turned up the volume to shake off the pandemic blues. Siempre encontrarse con el público y, y esa retroalimentación con el público es muy linda. Y cuando la gente de verdad disfruta lo que uno hace, de verdad que eso lo hace, lo hace uno muy feliz. The 37th edition of the country's major musical event brings in artists from countries such as Belgium, Argentina and even the United States. American saxophonist David Leon is playing in Havana for the festival. His parents have emigrated from the Caribbean island to the US in 1961, calling his musical debut in Havana a special experience. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at aniin.com. I'm your host Karim Zimik and it's goodbye from the entire production team.